Cypher, India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning teams of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes, and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Hi, my name is Aisha, and this is U Cypher, India's only multi platform, multi gaming, multiplayer esports championship. The Akramaks are at 66 points, and the Yodhas are at 63. Only one of them will move forward in the championship. The Akramaks need only a three-pointer game and a five-pointer game to qualify. The teams only have two options, either to win or to win. Coming second is not an option. So let's head straight to the war zone. Akramaks, welcome to the virtual quarters of you, Cypher. Because today's match is going to decide if you guys are going to be in the top four or not. You guys are in the fourth spot now and you might slip to the fifth. Is this even a possibility? No, we had three games in the last time. We had four games in the last time. All right. My team is on my team. We practiced it. What do we do on the stage? I don't know what to do on the stage. Today is do or die. It's basically our virtual quarters. You guys are going to fight for the semis. Yeah? Yeah. Are we ready? Akramat! Action! Who is it? Who is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? If you don't win today, if you haven't performed today, then you are all going to go. Vaz, there are a lot of games back to back. And there are a lot of close games. You have seen their game. Their CS team is one of the strongest in New Cyphers. You guys have to give it your all to win it today. Yes, we'll perform our best. We'll perform to our strengths. It's the best of one. So if you play good on this day, no one can stop us from winning. Yes. Mathematically, we'll see. So there are three points ahead of you. If you win both the single player games and win one multiplayer game, you still qualify. But I want you guys to have a clean sweep. Four games, Lagadar Jito, prove a point to Akramak, prove a point to the people who are watching you that we deserved it. Yes. All right, all the best. Thank you. All the best. Come on, come on, Yodas, come on. The stakes are high, and we are about to start with my favorite game of the day, Tekken 7. Did you know that the developers were such huge fans of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan that they modeled two characters around them? Well, I'll tell you right after you go and revise the rules. Players will select their characters in each round. Every round, the HP will be finished in each round, the HP will be finished in each round. Every match is a race for three rounds. And the player who will win the first three matches will become the Tekken 7 winner. Let the battle begin! It's match day 29 and we have the Akramaks taking on the Yodhas in a do or die situation because both teams have everything to play for. Yes, today is the decider day between them because Akramaks are at 66 points yeah. and Yudhas are at 63. There's just a three points deficit between them. Afro Ninja has won against Archie Crispy in the first round robin. So Afro Ninja has the upper end out here. Yeah. This is the time Archie has to step up right. because his team needs him the most out here. Uh, Lucky Chloe, his character, he's been playing very well. Uh, he's building it up. And if there's any time for him to shine, today is the day. So one team surely going home today. Will it be the Akramaks? Will it be the Yodhas? I can't wait to find out. Let's jump into Tekken 7, where we have Afro Ninja playing Archie's Crispy. Well, before we talk to our super stressed out players today, let me tell you that Lee Wu Long is based on Jackie Chan and martial law is based on Bruce Lee. But Archie, are we hoping for some luck with Lucky Chloe today? 
definitely because I've been training with Lucky Chloe yet again with some new moves hopefully so I'm really looking forward for the game. Are you also hoping for a bit of luck today? Because if you win these three points you will bridge the gap between the Yodhas and the Aftermarks. I wouldn't want to talk much, I would like to show it over there. Okay. Now every game is kept in So is it time for fun in games or are you taking this a little more seriously this time? Yeah, seriously. Okay. Archie, good luck. Not bad. Good luck. Thank you. All right, these are not mere taunts. This could be really deadly and very expensive for either of our teams. So let's watch what happens in Tekken 7. Hello everyone, it's time for Tekken 7 between the Yodhas and the Akramaks. On Yodhas, we have Archie's Crispy and on Akramaks, we have Afro Ninja. Round one, fight. A lucky close. Nice hop kicks at the start and going in for the backflip, but which was blocked from Alisa. And now Alisa tosses her head but couldn't make uh, much move of it in the game. Lucky Chloe going on HP, but now with that happy swing going for the windmill move. And now Alisa does have the rage art on her, and Lucky Chloe just a hit away from her rage art. Now both of the characters have the rage art, but Alisa is gonna knock her out. Well, a good ring at the start of the game, Alisa blocking really good and now a good clash from both of them and now Alisa going in. Her lucky Chloe is just going for one hitter moves on Alisa and she misses her rage art on her and Alisa making it a good advantage for her. Round three. Fight. Lucky Chloe starting an aggressive. Alisa blocking really good. Now it's gonna be a whip punish as Lucky Chloe is now gonna put some pressure over Alisa. Well, Alisa showing us a nice comeback into the game as well, but now she is low on her HP. Well, she does have the rage out, and it's just like a time for her to execute it, but not much time given to her, and there it goes a knockout coming in for her. Fight. Well, now Alisa playing really smart. She is maintaining distance between her and Lucky Chloe and just giving a huge damage on Lucky Chloe. But Lucky Chloe also with a good comeback into the game. Now Alisa stuck into the corners, but she is going to give us a comeback and that's going to be a knockout. Akramax win match number one of best of five, Round three, one. one. Fight. <laughs> Well, Lucky Chloe starting off really well into the match number 2 and now she is gonna give a huge damage while she is going for the windmill move and that was double and Alisa going low on her HP, she does have the rage but didn't block it well. Round 2, fight. Well, Lucky Chloe getting whipped punish over there but there she goes with a windmill Aram move and a double oh, back flip I as well. And couldn't connect it perfectly because Alisa is still blocking really well. But now Alisa stuck into the corners. Lucky Chloe is going in for those moves. And Alisa is on her rage art as well as Lucky Chloe. But Alisa is gonna take the game. Well, a good start from Alisa. She is reading the game quite well and not allowing Lucky Chloe to give a comeback in the game. Not a single chance given to her now. Lucky Chloe is stuck into the corners but pulls the rage out and yes, it does connect. But Lucky Chloe is so low on her HP, just a hit away from her knockout. And Alisa blocking it really well and there it goes, a knockout. Round 4. Fight. A good clash at the start and Lucky Chloe now stuck into the corners in the, in the early game and there it goes a nice reversal from her a windmill boot and Alisa with her rage art well it does connect and it's still gonna leave Lucky Chloe on a slight bit of her HP well now Lucky Chloe has the rage art but not a single chance given to her and a knockout coming in for them so Akramax win match number 2 3 1 Round 1 Fight. 
a lucky grey, a nice dodge from her at the start and Anissa taking a little bit of damage. Now both of them on equal edge, which is trying to maintain the distance between each other and Lucky Chloe is gonna take a huge damage from the head toss from Alisa. Now pulls the rage out with Dust Connect and Alisa going low on her HP. But still enough HP left on both of them. And the rage drive from Alisa. Round two. Fight. <laughs> A good uppercut from Lucky Chloe at the start of the game and uh, she is now trying to build pressure over Alisa because if Alisa wins this whole match she is gonna win the game. Now Alisa is now stuck into the corners. Lucky Chloe playing really really well. Round three. Fight. Alisa going in for the combo but couldn't do it for much and a double backflip was blocked. And Alisa is now taking some huge damage from Lucky Chloe, but returning back the same damage on Lucky Chloe as well. Good trade offs from these two players. And Lucky Chloe now just going low on her FPC. Well, she does pull out the Rage Art, and that was missed. And the block from Alisa. Wasn't that good, but yeah. And the Rage Drive again. She missed the Rage Drive, but a middle hit was enough to knock her out. Nice happy swing at the start from Lucky Chloe and Alisa reading the game and like just maintaining that distance from Lucky Chloe. Now she's going in and her moves are really confusing for Lucky Chloe because you don't know when she's into the mid air where she is gonna pop on you. And now Lucky Chloe low on her HP and that is gonna be a knockout. Shekhar, congratulations. Thank Afro you so much. Ninja just kicked Crispy out of the water. Unki jo kam nai thi ki three point lekar they would match up with you guys is now down in the dumps, and you guys have the first three points of the day. So Alisa, why Alisa against Lucky Chloe? कर से निकलने से पहले time pass कर रहा था पंद्रह मिनट मैं बोला यार character solid है कुछ भी कहीं से भी कोई predict नहीं कर सकता कहाँ जा सकता है वो. You know I can never tell if your players are confident or overconfident because if this is what he did in 15 minutes, that's miraculous. कपा क्या कहना चाहते हो आप फ्रेंडशिप को? ये जीत बहुत जरूरी थी क्योंकि पिछला दो तीन गेम्स वो हार गया था तो हम लोग को किक स्टार्ट नहीं मिल रहा था अभी मिल गया Afro Ninja is back in the game and so are the Akramaks man congratulations guys The Akramaks are at 3 and the Yodhas are at 0 Up next we have Real Cricket 17 in this single over batting only match the ball is either in the bowler's hand or flying sky high outside the ground and that's how we like it let's have a look at the rules ये एक बैटिंग ओनली मैच है हर प्लेयर एक ओवर फेस करेगा जिसमें उसे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने होंगे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर इट इज एनीबडीज गेम राइट नाउ अगर ये भी आप जीतते हो तो दीस गाइस विल बी अंडर प्रेशर बट दे विल स्टिल हैव अ चांस अगर प्रेशर की बात करेंगे तो यूसाइफर में चार बार सुपर ओवर जा चुके हैं उसमें से तीन बार आप उसका पार्ट थे सो यू नो व्हाट प्रेशर इज मैं प्रेशर में ज़्यादा खेला भी और मुझे टीम के लिए मोमेंटम चाहिए ना वो मैं दिलवा के रहूँगा और राइट लास्ट टाइम आपकी परफॉर्मेंस काफ़ी डामर लोल थी हाँ यू लॉस टू एग्रेसिव गेम के बाद देखेंगे ठीक है टॉस का टाइम कौन कॉल करेगा कॉल करता You won the toss. आपको क्या चाहिए? I will choose bat first. You will bat first. All the best, Sagar. All the best. Let's see what happens in game number two of this virtual quarter finals. Hello, everyone. Now it's time for real cricket 17 between the Yodhas and the Akramaks. On Yodhas we have Sachin, and on Akramaks we have Sagar Vyas. So it's gonna be Yodhas to bat first. The first ball comes in. And that was a huge, but with the one bounce, it goes for a four. Second ball of the over. 
And that's a huge again directly out of the stadium. It's a six. Well, that's a good hit, but that was caught by the fielder and he is out. Three balls, ten runs. And there goes another wicket. He is out. And it goes directly onto the bat and it's going for a four. So this is the last ball of the over. And he misses the last ball, so six ball, 14 runs. So the Aquamarks need 15 runs in six balls. First ball comes in. And that's a six. Second ball of the over. And it's going for a four, so two balls, ten runs. And that's straight down the middle. It's a six, and the Aquamox wins the game. A lot of people think that video games and CSGO specifically is just mindless violence. But on the contrary, it takes strategy and the optimum use of your resources to play a game like CSGO. If you think you can go around shooting bullets at anything and everything and win a game like CSGO, you're really off the mark. Briefly, have a look at the rules. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will be played in 5 vs 5. Which map will be played, this will be a banning process. शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it or kill all the counter terrorists. The aim of the counter terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. I just want to say that, you know, for a match with the stakes soaring high the way that they are, which map is fitting for such a setting? We will go to basic maps. We don't have to do extraordinary things. Because this work is only for winning. We don't have to do anything. So no experiments? Nothing. No surprises? Nothing. Was? Same here. We are going to our strengths like Cash, Inferno and Drain for our first three preferences. And we'll hope that any one of those maps comes and we'll give them a better fight. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go back to your teams. All the very best. I hope this is not the last time we speak on this stage. Yeah? Thank you. This is the map, Vito. And now let's see what do they choose. It's going to be cash. Hello and welcome back to another game of the U-Cypher League. It's time for Counter-Strike between the Akramux and the Yodhas. And the knife run begins. Batman getting the first frag on Drizzla. Mun getting the second one on the captain was Mithil slicing off pegs. Terrorists win. Knife run, we took the city from the city. Because we know that the city side, we will kill the city side. We will kill the city side, we will kill the city side. We will kill the city side. Looks like the Yodas are rushing towards the bomb side B and SMX with a one tap towards and the second one on Rizla. And Pex are getting a kill on Kappas. A nice shot by him and Pex are getting a second frag on SMX as well. And the third frag for him, it's gonna be a 2v3 situation. Mithil with amazing shot on Mark on the C4 is now down and making it a 2v1 situation. Pex are alone left in a one on two. And he has spotted the players now towards the heavens and CT. He is missing his bullets, not good accuracy from him. He has already erased three players of the Akramux. Now can he pull this ace? And yes, he gets a frag. And last guy is the Batman. And he gets an amazing clutch. A one on five. A good smoke by Manan towards the mid. SMX giving a boost to his player onto the bomb side. 
Elvers is marking towards the blue doors. He is just trying to hit the side. SMX towards the court gets a kill. Onwards, was goes down. No, लोग एक के बाद एक आया है तो वो लोग मेरे aim पे आ रहे थे तो एक को मारा दूसरे को मारा तीसरे को मारा वैसे वो लोग line up हो गए तो बहुत easy हो गया था वो तो. What an amazing round from the Akramaks. The Akramaks are now taking a huge lead in the game against the Yodhas. It's time for round number eight. Kappa holding with his op towards the vent room, and Rizla coming in toxic, giving a decent damage on Kappa. Well, Kappa going low on 29 HP, and through the smoke, he gets a nice kill. Well, Kappa goes down, and Mithil over here towards the A warehouse, he gets one kill. The others decide to make a rotation towards the bomb side B, and Buzz is now entering the side. He dodged the flash nicely and gets down. Bad man. So a nice rotation being made from the cities. Now it's a three on four situation. It's only 15 seconds on the clock. The C4 hasn't gone down yet, and SMX is now entering the side. Gets one frag. Gets the C4 down as well. So it doesn't looks like there's a chance for the Yodhas to come on the side and plant the bomb, and the Yodhas have lost this round. The Akramaks are just destroying the Yodhas left, right, and center, but now the Yodhas are making a comeback. So it looks like a decent setup coming towards. The A warehouse Kappa is ready with his op shot and was as well. Was gets the first shot on Kappa. The opper of the team is down. Mithil slowly pushing towards the warehouse. He doesn't notice that the player is waiting behind him. Mithil gets a kill. The C4 is down and Marklon gets a kill. A huge mistake from Marklon. And now Manan onto the side gets a frag through the blue doors. He is totally flash and the players are entering on the bomb side. Well, SMX with his eagle, an easy tap for one kill and the second one as well. Marklon coming in from the highway gets a kill, making it a one-on-two situation for him. Gets the forklift guy as well. Now it's a one-on-one situation between Marklon and Badman, and Badman is also down with a good headshot given by Marklon. Manan towards the mid and was shuts him down. Like he had a nice boost over to the mid and a good smoke from Badman, but it's not going to stop the players to enter the site. And a good shot, Badman goes down and Kappa. What an amazing shot the C4 is dropped down towards the city side but friction through the smoke picks it up and now is going on the side to plant the bomb he is hiding in the corners a good nade from Mithil which is not going to do a huge damage but that Molly will do and he dies and now is going to be worse with the low on HP but spraying and getting SMX down. So now it's a two on two situation, and Mithil, the last guy, goes down as well. So eight to seven is the first half. So now the sides have been switched. The Akramaks will now play STs and Yodhas as CTs. Marklon going in aggressive towards the warehouse, but he couldn't find any. But now Kappa is gonna enter, gives a nice damage to Rizla. Rizla low on 15 HP, and Kappa goes down by Marklon. Amazing headshot from him. But meanwhile, the players are entering on the bomb side B. A good smoke to the city side just to block off the vision, not letting the Yodhas enter the side. But the rotations have already been made, and now the players are looking for the flags. It's gonna be SMX. A nice shot by Pexa through that small gap, and now the huge retake coming in from the Yodhas the player together entering the side, and it's gonna be Manan with a nice easy tap and the second tap as well. What amazing shot from him! But Pexa replies back with the same shot on him and winning the round. So eight to eight is the current scoreline. Akramax are on eco for the second round. They couldn't manage to get the first economy, but Pex over here gets three frags, instantly shutting down the Yodhas and Marklon as well with the two frags. So the fight is going neck to neck from these two teams, and now let's jump into round number twenty-two. The 
legs are holding a nice angle towards fork left is ready for the push and now Mithil totally flashed over here and he is gonna go for a rush looks like because the pop flash coming in दो जन स्मोक के थ्रू पुश करते हैं मैंने एक को आपसे मारा मैं साइड के पास आता हूँ वो लोग ऑलरेडी साइड पहुँच चुके थे तीन जन को मैंने साइड पे स्पॉट कर लिया था मैंने बोला ऑफ निकालूंगा तो बहुत लेट हो जाएगा सीजर निकाली उतने में देखा प्लांट हो चुका एक को सीजर से मारा दो जन दोनों के साइड पे थे और दोनों को मैंने वहीं पे मार के डिफ्यूज कर दिया What an amazing round by Rizla in raising off the four players of the aftermath. The Akramaks are also giving a tough fight for the Yodas, not making it easy for them. Let's jump into round number twenty-six. Well, as he entered from the vent room, but was shuts him down with a P250 and Metal coming in for a refrag. On to the vent room and back one towards mid gets a nice headshot on Pexo, making it a 4v3, a one-man advantage on the Akramak side. One on with a nice tap to Rizla. Rizla goes down, and now it's gonna be Marklon in a one-on-three situation with only his P250. Well, they have spotted him, and Mithil is gonna shut down the player, and now the Akramaks are on match point. Akramaks need one round to win this game, and looks like. They are gonna make an A rush, a A setup from and Kappa gets a shot on Rizla. Rizla goes down. Mithil coming in from the highway for a backstab. He gets one frag. It's gonna be Pexo to go down. Manon on the side gets one frag and Mithil again with a nice kill on Friction over here. Well, was coming in the last man standing for the Yodhas. He gets one frag on Mithil and Kappa, the captain of the team, erasing off the another captain. That's of the Yodhas and the Akramaks win the game. Good कर ले आए हैं पर दिल जीत के जाएंगे आई होप हम दिल जीत के गए हम अच्छा खेले ऐसे भी नहीं है जो हम हारे बुरी तरह से हारे जो हम हारे काफ़ी क्लोज मैचेस हारे और ये गेम है गेम में क्लोज मैचेस तो होंगे ही एक जीतेगा एक हारेगा एक डिसअपॉइंट होगा और एक हैप्पी होगा 16-13 in the favor of the Akramaks and that means you guys take away the game but it also means that today is the last day for the Yodhas. I have to say though, guys, it was a super, super, super close match. आप अपनी टीम को क्या बोलना चाहोगे? Well try बोलना चाहूँगा. काफी अच्छा खेले सब लोग. वो लोग ज़्यादा skillfully, ज़्यादा better team हैं हम लोग से. फिर भी काफी try किया हम लोग ने. काफी neck to neck चल रहा था. Minor mistakes की वजह से हम game हार गए. And I'm sure your Dota boys deserve another chance to show what they're made of. I think if they win this game, they'll be like the top winning uh, Dota team. Absolutely. Be... This would be their seventh win. Yes. My God. I would be shaking, but for now, congratulations! Congratulations! Good luck, Zami. For you. Ah. You cipher is not just about gaming; it's about blood, sweat, tears, and glory. But there's still one more game left. There are still five points on the table, which could be any of theirs. So let's find out after this teeny weeny break, which we all deserve. Welcome back to You Cipher, Naya Sport, Naya Superstars. As we all know, the Akramaks have claimed the last spot in the semis. But the game is not over until it's over. It's time for Dota 2. Dota 2 में हर प्लेयर अपने लिए एक हीरो सिलेक्ट करेंगे। इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ फाइव वर्सेस फाइव फॉर्मेट। हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंस को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी आज जो दस के सामने है हमारा लास्ट गेम है राउंड रॉबिन टू का तो भाई लोग हम लोग ऑलरेडी बहुत अच्छे स्ट्रीक पे चल रहे कल का गेम हम लोग ने इजिली जीत लिया उनका जो मिड प्लेयर है वो काफी वीक खेलता है मतलब वो इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग मिड प्लेनर नहीं है उसको मैप अवेयरनेस इतना अच्छा नहीं है उसका लास्ट टाइम पर अर्ली गेम बहुत गंदी तरह हारे थे इवन इफ दे गेट अ प्रॉपर लेन उन लोग को अच्छा मैचअप मिलता है तो जो फर्स्ट लेन स्विच होता है ना वो चल के करो तो हमको वो अर्ली अग्रेशन उनका या तो अवॉइड करना है या तो काउंटर करना है You guys have had a six-game winning streak. This is your chance to make it seven. Since your Dota team perform not well, today is your day to perform and beat them. Today is your day 
to prove that hamara dota team best hai yeah i just want you guys to play with all your heart and i want you guys to beat the crap out of them promise me that yeah i promise you i promise me that man pakka all the best captains yeah. thank you thank you this is truly going to be epic Season one of New Cipher, where the Yodas on the radio take on the Akramaks on the Dyer, straight away in the mid lane. Eleven on a Shadow Demon might be in a little bit of trouble as Blue Frog comes in from the south. Now Haps is here as well, but he can't offer too much. However, the arrow will connect, and here comes Akme on his signature punch. He doesn't have the hook, but he has the rot and the damage. Eleven draws first blood. They could look for more, but make believe. With the wind rush, we'll get away. Bottom lane with the score line one to zero. Acme is going to loop around for another rotation. He's going to go in on Kiko, but Kiko just mans up and fights back. Acme overestimating his abilities ends up going down. Now Eleven is the one in trouble as well. He's been tagged with the thunder strike. They aren't quite overcommitting. Eleven just turns around and fights under his own tower while Shondi stands at the face, kills creeps. Bottom lane. This is where the action is. At the Akramunks are running in aggressive trial lane. They want to contest the spectre as much as possible. The disruptions there. No real follow up other than the cock pushback. Shondi still healthy. Will just run away. But Akme, he's being chased. Blue Frog is here with the battery assault. This is a rather deep dive from the Akramunks, and they might be punished. Akme lands the hook. Gets the kill for himself, and they might look for more elevens here. Max with four stacks of shadow poison upon him won't end up falling instantly. It's actually Kiko who brings down eleven, and Kale who, with the overwhelming odds, finds the disruptor, finds the dual kill as well. The tail blade ends up falling. Legion commander off to a decent start now with that early dual victory coming out. Eleven, however, on the bottom lane, left to his own devices, glimpsed back into a metamorphosis terror blade. He does disrupt himself, delays the inevitable, goes in deep. The hook actually misses upon his own ally, but Eleven still survives. With Spectre coming in as well, it looks like they want to still commit. Dream goes in, gets the punish strike off Eleven, tagged with the caustic finale. Kiko gets the kill. Mid lane abs with the moonlight shadow looking to make a rotation towards bottom and look at this Kiko under the radiant here one dash stream with the epicenter overwhelming odds as well no one falling just yet a lot of damage being dealt but Kale with the duel finds Max he looks for more as Dream has nowhere to go Kale finds a double the Akramunks their aggressive trial lane is crumbling. Acme stunned up in the river now. 14 minutes in, this should be a pick off on the fudge, but not before he does some damage of his own. Pulls in Max. The arrow connects on the sand king. The horn is there. The star storm as well. Dream ends up going down from the high ground. Kiko, he's had enough of this aggressive style. He moves top and is welcome with the duel from the Legion commander. Ends up falling. Three duel victories already for Kale. 14 to 5, 17 minutes in now. The hook comes from the side. They'll pull in Max, who immediately drops down a static storm, but it is for naught. He ends up going down. They will get the kill on Acme. He doesn't end up denying himself. Scrappy trades across the map. The Akramunks are still holding their own, which is really formidable versus a quality side like the Yodas. But top lane, just as I say, like Kiko gets caught in the duel. I mean, the glimpse was there, but he's been dragged out of position. Kale still finds the win, and Max Hook might be in trouble. Hit up the side storm, but will end up falling to Shandi. And he's looking for more, though. He sees Make Believe making a run for it. The shackle will connect, and while he's dropping, he's taking a lot of damage. Here, but Kale comes in. They end up getting the kill with Blue Frog hook shotting in as well. Blue Frog now trying to get some more done with Dream coming in with that Burrow Strike and the Epicenter. They do end up getting a kill on 11, and then Blue Frog ends up going down as well. Shondi's next on the list as he drops the Make Believe, but Kale and Apt fighting their way through this. Make Believe in a bit of trouble here. The blink forward from Kale with the auto attacks will secure him a double kill and a wicked six tree. 
20 minutes in, the Yodas have started to pull ahead in terms of net worth. And Max, he, he's trying to just escape from the punch, but not from the Mirana, who's there with the Diffuser Blade. Perhaps finds the gear, the epicenter's there, but the question is, what's the real follow-up from the Aftermath? And there isn't any, as Gale comes in, but he ends up falling, and another hook from Max May. Yoda just styling all over the Akramanks at this point. They end up losing none in that exchange and they might find more one lane. Kiko in trouble. The dagger is there. Kale's there with the duel. The arrow on point. Make believe they're supposed to run away. 23 minutes in. The score is sitting at 26 to 11 with a 9,000 net worth lead. Now 11,000 in favor of the Radiant side. Apps and go on the side of Yodas now under cover of a Moonlight Shadow looking for a pickoff. They find the high value target which is the Terra Blade. The hook shot was there. The epicenter as well. All spells thrown down but with the control from the duel. Terra Blade ends up going down. The epicenter is a whip. Dream not getting much done this time around as Kale just decides to man up and go back in for the fight. Max is down and Kale is gone like Blue Frog's in trouble and this could be Kale getting a Beyond God like if not for Ash. Mid lane, it seems that the Yodas want to push the arrows there. Acme with the hook finds the Sand King. Static Storm not doing too much. Kale with the BKB. Really wants the Sand King. Won't find it, but there. Uh, just as I say that, he goes in with the duel. Finds Dreams. Finds Max with an auto attack. And he's chasing for more. The hook is there from Acme. They find the Terrorblade, who does have buyback if he needs it. But he's. I mean, the Aftermath, they're not even trying to defend this. The epicenter is being channeled, but where's the follow up? Blue Crocs there with the hook shot, but the damage isn't enough. The Cogs can no apps falls to the power shot, but the overwhelming odds will find the clockwork. And this the beautiful bit of control coming up from Make Believe will be enough to take away the ages. The shadow poison, though, might bring down the wind runner as she tries to run away, barely manages to reach the fountain. But the melee barracks will fall. The Yodas. Now on the top lane, you've got Shandi going in with the blade mail expended. He's just walking in without a care in the world. Max just sent back to his fountain while behind the moon victory comes out with make believe going down. He buys back immediately. Kiko gets the thunder up, but they don't really care. They'll just right click him through it all. Kale with the BKB trying to make a run for it gets earned up as well while the barracks were being focused. There's the haunt once again coming out. Spectre's going in deep. The hook flies, catches the terror blade. The, there's the control coming out from member as well, but they can't quite finish the job upon it. The status storm was there, the thunder as well. A lot of damage being done upon the who finally ends up going down, but Kale is beyond godlike as he's just slaughtering them inside of their own base. The barracks will fall behind, absolute focus objectives, and now it looks like Make Believe and Co are on their last limbs here, with Yodas walking forward to claim victory, or on the cusp of claiming victory here at USI for Season 1. The Akramax, I mean, they're still trying to hold it. It's two versus four. Make believe he, he's trying to play from his own fountain, which could possibly be a safe space. But just as I say that, the Akramax have that now. The Yodas, they've been and how absolutely dominating. It's funny what pressure can do to you. You can crumble under pressure or you can absolutely revel in the spotlight under pressure. And that's exactly what Kappa and the Akramaks have done. This match was a little close, 16-13. Uh -huh. Is it too close for comfort? Yeah, okay. In the second round, we knew that they were under pressure. They were going to win and win. So, we will win the team game with the 5-5 points in the semi-final. So, we didn't expect that it was a tough fight. वो लोग ने कुछ प्लेस अच्छा खेले जो एक्सपेक्टेड नहीं था वो लोग अच्छा खेले और जो खेलने वाले थे अच्छा वो लोग नहीं खेल पाए। डोटा तो अब तक इट्स नॉट परफेक्ट नो। डोटा का गेम मेरा टीम पूरा सिर्फ दो ही गेम जीत पाई है। तो बाकी तो हम लोग ने कैरी किया वो लोग का अब तक। तो एक मैं वो लोग से एक जाता हूँ कि सिर्फ सेमीफाइनल में एक गेम जीता दे, फाइनल में पहुँचा दे। Well, the Akramaks are through to the semi-finals. There's an air of confidence about them, which is pretty evident and pretty apparent, but also very, very, very well established because this is a side that means business. They're looking very good in come semi-final time. I can't wait to watch this man in action. Day 29 has come to an end and you've got to feel for the Yodhas to come this close and then be forced out of the competition. And what a fantastic performance they gave in Dota 2 despite knowing that their journey in Ucypher is over. And with that, we have a four semi-finalist of Ucypher. The Yakshas, the Marksmen, the Sherdils and after today's victory, the Akramas. The leaderboard looks like this with one more game to go.
watch the entire gameplay, you can log on to usports.in. And tomorrow is the last match of the league phase between the Marksmen and the Crusaders. We'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place, only on Usaifa Naya Sports. Nice Superstars, a U Sports initiative. Mehu Varun. And Mehu Aisha. Do you cipher? This is a revenge match. We want to win. Impeller is more dangerous for them. Let's go! Today we have the aim that we have to finish 4 in a row.